Today, I will be making my special delicious eggplant parmesan that's going to leave your mouth bursting with flavor and your stomach beyond satisfied. A meat-like dish without the meat. Serve it to your guests or add it to your dinner menu this week. Trust me, you won't be disappointed. If you want to see more videos like this, please like and subscribe. Okay, so here I have two large eggplants. And when I make eggplant parmesan, I usually fry it only because that's the way I made it the first time and my children loved it and anything to get my kids to eat vegetables. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to slice the eggplant in about a quarter inch slices. You want your slices not to be too thinly, otherwise when you fry it, it's gonna to get too oily and when you're eating it, you wanna make sure you're tasting the eggplant and it's not gonna just dissolve. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna lay them on top of paper towel, we're gonna to season them with salt and pepper, and then we're gonna let them sit for about a half an hour to an hour, only because eggplant releases water and we don't want that water when we're cooking it, we wanna get rid of all that water before we fry it. All right, so let's get started. We're gonna chop the end off, just like that. And then we're going to just slice it, like I said, not too thinly. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to lay our slices here on my tray. So I'm going to take a couple of uh, about three pieces of paper towel and we're just going to lay the eggplant right on top. And the paper towel is just going to soak that water from the eggplant. Okay, and so now we're going to season each piece with a little bit of salt some black pepper, and I like to add a little bit of garlic powder. So the idea is to add and attain flavor to each component of my dish. So let's get seasoning. Okay, so this is the last layer and then I'm going to set the eggplant aside and let it sit for roughly about a half an hour to 45 minutes so it can release its water. And now I'm moving on to my sauce. Okay, so for my sauce, I'm going to use some homemade tomato sauce, which I make every year. I'm gonna use two small onions and some garlic, okay? And again, we're trying to attain lots of flavor in the sauce as well. So we're gonna chop our onion.
to the stove. So I'm gonna turn on my stove. I'm going to add some olive oil and I don't want to add too much because we're gonna fry the eggplant and so that's already gonna retain some oil. So we're gonna let that heat up and then we're gonna add our onion and our garlic. Okay, so here goes the garlic and the onion. Okay, so what we wanna do now, is we're just gonna let this onion cook on low heat because we don't wanna burn the onion, we wanna caramelize it. So we're just gonna put the lid back on and let it cook slowly. Okay, so now let's check on our eggplant. And look at that. As you can see, the eggplant is releasing all the water and that's why you see all the paper towel is all wet. Okay, and you see the eggplant, it's almost like sweating, right? So that's what we wanna see. So we're gonna let that sit for another 15, 20 minutes. Okay, wow, look at our onion, beautifully caramelized. And now we're going to add our sauce. Okay, so now it's time to season our sauce. We're gonna add some salt, some black pepper. We're gonna add some basil, some oregano, and some red chili flakes. We're gonna give it a good stir. We're gonna close the lid and we're going to reduce the heat. Okay, so our sauce is cooking and now we're going to prepare our eggplant. So as you can see, it's been sitting here for about, I would say a good 40 minutes. Um, and the paper towel is all wet, so I think we're ready to coat our eggplant now. I'm going to use two eggs and I'm going to use some breadcrumbs. Now, we're going to continue with that amazing flavor and in the breadcrumbs, we're going to shred some Parmesan cheese and in the egg, we're going to add a little bit of salt and a little bit of black pepper, just a pinch, just so that we can continue adding flavor to our dish. of salt, just a little, some black pepper, and we're going to put that aside. Okay, so we're going to add about one cup of breadcrumbs. If we need more, we'll add some more after. And now we're going to grate some Parmesan cheese. going to mix the breadcrumbs and the parmesan together okay okay so now we're going to take our eggplant and we're going to dip it in the egg first and then in the breadcrumbs with the parmesan cheese okay so we're gonna put that one in there And make sure that you drain the excess egg on the side of the plate. Okay. So now with the fork, you just coat the eggplant. And we're going to set it over to the side. Now look 
at all the paper towel and look at how wet it is. We're gonna remove the first layer and we're going to continue. Like we're gonna need more egg and more breadcrumbs. Okay, in the meantime, we're gonna check on our sauce. And it looks so good. Okay, so we're gonna add another egg. Okay, and some more breadcrumbs. And some more Parmesan cheese. Parmesan cheese just gives it that really amazing flavor and crunchiness and it just makes it taste different. Okay, so now we're going to stir it together. We're going to beat our egg. And we still have some salt and pepper from the other one, so I think we're good for this one. to make sure that it's seasoned properly and most importantly that it has enough salt okay all right so amazing perfect okay so we're gonna turn off the heat and our sauce is done and we're gonna put that aside okay so now it's time to fry your eggplant so we're going to add some oil, you can do canola oil or vegetable oil, and we're going to add a generous amount because we don't want our eggplant to be sticking to the bottom, we want it to sort of float it in the oil. We're going to turn on our heat. Okay, so before we fry our eggplant, I'm going to lay some paper towel on my tray where I'm going to place my eggplant just because like everything else that's fried, there's oil in it. So we want to make sure we soak up as much oil as we can. So we're going to lay some paper towel here and we're going to begin our frying. Okay, so let's test the oil. Just going to drop it a little bit and sure enough, there we go. Check on our eggplant. Okay, beautiful. Okay, let's see if it's ready. Yes, it is on both sides, same. Okay, you wanna drain always a little bit of the excess oil and then just put it on your tray. Gonna go to the next one. So the idea is to get it crispy on both sides, not necessarily to cook it thoroughly because it's still gonna cook in the oven. Okay, and we're gonna add some more.
As you can see, we were able to soak up a lot of the oil from the eggplant um, right on the paper towel, which is really good. Okay, let's preheat our oven and we're gonna put it at 375. All right guys, so we're ready to assemble our eggplant parmesan. And the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna layer some tomato sauce on the bottom and then some eggplant, some more tomato sauce, some cheese, and we do just like we uh, when we assemble the lasagna. Okay, so let's get started. So we're gonna add some tomato sauce to the bottom. And here's a little trick guys, if you insert four to five toothpicks into your eggplant, leaving them sticking out, the cheese will not stick to the foil when cooking, which can be very annoying. Once you've removed the foil, don't forget to remove those toothpicks. Well guys, my eggplant is all ready and it couldn't look better. Well, here comes the best part. Mm. Just melts in your mouth. Tons of flavor. There's no difference. It's like there's meat in here. Hearty and absolutely delicious. If you want to see more videos like this, please like and subscribe.